Hi everyone, today I'm going to take you through page layouts. This video will cover what a page layout is, a scenario where creating a new page layout applies, the difference between the use of page layouts and conditional layouts, and how this can be achieved in the CRM. A page layout is basically the entire layout of a selected module. This is an example of a deals page layout. You have your fields, both default and custom. Your drop-down options, different sections, and so on. Custom page layouts basically allow you to have multiple page layouts per module. Each layout can have its own custom fields, pick list options, mandatory fields, and its own layout rules. What if your company had multiple business processes? Let's just say I'm in the automotive industry. My business is involved in selling cars and selling car insurance, both of which have their own sales processes. Selling cars has its own deal stages, various custom fields that don't apply to the car insurance process, and different layout rules apply to it. Instead of having both car sales deals and car insurance deals information cramped up into the same layout, we use custom page layouts. This helps us avoid things like having 20 deal stages. Having a custom page layout will allow me to have a layout for a car sales deal and a layout for a car insurance deal. This way, there will definitely be less clutter. What's the difference between custom page layouts and conditional layouts? To learn more about conditional layouts, here's a link to my conditional layouts video. I've also added the link in the description section of this video. Basically, custom page layouts can have multiple layouts. Each layout is independent from the other, and each layout can have their own set of fields, drop-downs, mandatory fields, and layout rules. Conditional layouts only apply to one layout, which is purely controlled by pre-customized layout rules mainly works by hiding and showing fields or sections. Conditional layouts cannot be used if you have multiple sales processes that follow different deal stages. In this scenario, it will be ideal to use custom page layouts. Now let me jump into the CRM and show you how to create a custom page layout. Now I'm in setup. Let's go to modules and fields under customization. Now let's go to the deals module. You will see that there are two layouts available. Standard is the Zoho CRM default layout. Car sales is a custom layout that I have created. Let's check out the car sales layout. Most of the fields are pretty standard. We have car make with Toyota, Honda and Holden as options. We also have the Zoho default stages for our deal stage options. Now let me show you how to create a new layout. Simply click on create new layout. Select a layout that you would like to clone. In this case, I would like to clone the car sales layout. Now call this one car insurance. Remove the fields that you don't need. Change the pick list options if required. Add new custom fields. Change the deal stages. Now hit save and you can select which profiles you will give permission to access this layout. Now you're ready to go. Now let's try creating a new deal. This drop down box here allows you to select which layout you want to use. Fill in the details and hit save.
One thing to take note of is the layout field that's created by default. This field can be used for things like creating views, even searching, reporting, and more. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see more tips and tricks.